quickly moved uh, to the crypto space. There are so many things to do there. Uh, so I'm trying, I will, I will uh, keep it short and really easy to understand. We don't have so much time. Um, but uh, yeah, today I will just uh, talk to you about mining and how everyone should and could do it uh, at his at his home. Yeah. At home. Yeah. <laughs> um, so yeah. So uh, just to remind you, everything has been said already. But to to make sure, so blockchain is just a database. At the end of the day, just to store our data, there, and it's where uh, the transactions are stored. In the case of uh, of uh, cryptocurrencies, right? So they are um, uh, not technically cryptocurrency as a blockchain, but I will uh, play simple and talk about the major ones. Um, <clears throat> so you need uh, to validate the transaction, and at the end of the blockchain, this is what we call mining. Uh, in traditional system, you would just uh, tell your bank, look, I want to send my money to uh, this person, and the bank would do the work of checking that you have the funds, do the transfer, and then it could appear on the other person's account. In the, in the case of uh, cryptocurrencies, uh, you need people that we call the miner to do this work, to check that the funds you're trying to send are there, that you have them, and that you can, uh, you can spend them and send it to the other person. Uh, so why do people mine? It's, it's just because there are incentives uh, for mining, because we want people to, to do this work of checking that the, the transactions are okay. Um, so there is what we call the block creation reward. So there are new cryptocurrencies that are created every time someone managed to, um, to add the new transactions on the blockchain. And also the transaction fees. Uh, so in the case of Ethereum, we, we said it before, but that are really high at the moment. Um, it's a miner who gets the, these fees. No, it's the wrong button. So how do you mine, and what, what is that thing? So uh, a mining rig, that I'm going to show you a bit later, is, is just a computer, and where uh, you, you run a software on it, uh, that is already written, you don't need to do all this complex uh, transaction, you just run the software on your computer, and then it will, uh, to do the job, will uh, find the new transaction and try to, to add them to the, the blockchain. Um, so to do this more efficiently, of course there are different ways of mining depending on the cryptocurrency. Um, I, will, I will show you uh, my explain. Yeah, so, so this is uh, one that we use to mine uh, on the Ethereum uh, blockchain. The software uses the graphic cards to... Uh, yeah. the, yeah. That is this whole... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yes, 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 but uh, I live in Marina, so it's just there. Uh, so uh, why did I decide to do this one? Uh, it, it was just more uh, like an experience uh, because I've been in blockchain, more in development, more in trading. Uh, and it's true that when we talk about this to people, they don't really, they don't really see it, right? Uh, it's more uh, digits, numbers. But uh, mining is, I think, then you can touch it when you start mining. Um, so yeah, this is mine. Um, so I'm, I'm mining Ethereum, so I'm using graphic cards. Um, so it's what I just said before, it's just a report from computer, you run the software and then you can uh, cash in the reward. So basically this one, uh, it pays me the rent, uh, it's just a home, and uh, <laughs> that's the, the thing, I don't think it's right. Uh, yeah, so uh, there are many ways to, to build uh, miners, uh, so I decided to focus on the Ethereum because it's really popular, and also it makes you buy graphic cards. And I'm also a gamer, so I wanted to have this card uh, <laughs> to play some games on it, play that. So now that I completed uh, this thing. So now uh, we, have, we have to talk about the electricity consumption, I think. Uh, especially, um, Elon Musk talked about it recently, but he didn't want, yeah, he didn't want uh, uh, to use Bitcoin anymore because it was too uh, electricity, too uh, consuming. Uh, so there are a lot of other protocols. Uh, you don't really need to have this powerful computer that just make uh, a lot of co uh, computation and um, waste electricity by a lot of protocols. So the, the main one is called the proof of stake. Uh, so the previous one was a proof of work, right? You need to make a work of validating the transaction and then you get rewards. With proof of stake, you have to prove that you hold enough of the currency and then you're allowed to, to do the same as a miner. 
but you don't need the big uh, computer that just show. So this is what I usually do uh, a more reminder on of proof of stake. Uh, and especially then the delegated, delegated proof of stake, which is even one step ahead, where you don't need so many miners. So I'm just showing this uh, swissleague.org because uh, I'm working with them. Um, so instead of having thousands of miners in the world, you just elect uh, 25 of them. And only these 25 will be able to mine. So it, it will, again, to reduce the consumption of the, of the blockchain. Uh, and then, uh, yeah, I want to talk about the, the risk because it, it can make money, right? At the time, especially now that the <coughs> prices are so high, uh, it can make money, but uh, you can lose if the crypto decrease, of course, and if more people come and mine, you are, we are all in competition between each other, so it might also be a risk and you might lose money because the equipment you need to buy at a certain price at the beginning. Uh, and then you get paid in crypto, which is, we saw it a little bit high. And that's why I also put uh, uh, this, uh, this platform here that I work on. Uh, the idea is not to keep the, the cryptocurrency, but make it work a bit better uh, and, and automate everything. So it's, uh, it's a trading algorithm that you can use. Uh, <coughs> oh, here it is. Yeah. Well, very interesting. Thank you very much. Thank you, William. Um, but as I said, he's a real person. He's really doing his pay his electricity at home today in Dubai by oh, mining yeah. crypto. Uh, if it's interest someone, I mean, <laughs> today with the prices of crypto that are so high, uh, like for one dollar of electricity here, I get about 10 in crypto, so it's not So important. you understand the profitability of that. Anyway, questions for Pierre? You have him here. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, she's gonna give you. So we have, sorry, thank you for the presentation. Uh, so we have two contradictory facts here because Elon Musk announced that this is not environmental friendly and that's why the Bitcoin dropped, but he's saying uh, otherwise. So we are confused here. Can I answer that question? <laughs> yeah, the Bitcoin itself, yes, the, with the current... Uh, I just want to say before he goes into it, you're right, that was a tweet about one week ago. And you have seen the tweets the last two days, everything changed. Now Elon Musk has made an agreement with the guys from Bitcoin and other um, uh, blockchains and everything is fine. So it's true what you're saying, but it, it's not all that clear in the message provided by them. Please go ahead. Yeah, I think it was just a bit fast in, uh, in tweeting, <laughs> to be honest, uh, and taking the decisions. Uh, so yeah, Bitcoin is uh, really uh, it consumes a lot of electricity. There is always uh, this thing that we say it consumes more than this country, whatever. But as I said, there are alternatives of the way of mining it. So, proof of work okay. is the old one, but then, uh, also I don't think it's such a problem either, because the service that gives uh, Bitcoin uh, could replace a bank or something that would have the electricity. Uh, so one quick question, sorry. Yeah. Uh, printing fiat cash is more uh, energy consuming or Bitcoin, as per you? Uh, it really depends what you compute, but probably uh, if you, yeah, if you take into consideration uh, the, the, the chemicals for printing the cash uh, institutions. Could I ask that question? That's a very good question. This morning, Biden decided to print six trillion dollars. You know, you read it this morning when you got up? I got up at four o'clock in the morning and said, oh, God, I just decided to print six trillion dollars. Uh, you, you can imagine the amount of energy that those printing machines are using, and as Pierre was saying, everything else that they're using. So it is really um, a political war for them, this part. The, 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 the fiat guys are saying these guys are consuming too much. We're not saying that they consume too much. We're just saying, as Pierre was very well said, that there are alternative methodologies to do that cheaper, that's all. Yeah. yeah. Any other questions? So I think uh, we said you got for the new technology, it's a little bit of the Yeah, yeah, but, uh, do, do, yeah, Ethereum will switch from proof of work to proof of stake when they will manage <laughs> to, to finish the code. Yeah, yes, uh, back into mining. I'm, I get interested into the market and I bought some mining machines. 
because I googled a little bit about electricity troubles and I discovered that in my country there is many um, places that we actually don't buy it for the energy. It's like a set for the government, for the poor people who don't have uh, the opportunity to buy energy. So these, these places, the energy are free. So I say, okay, why well, I will invest on the mining uh, machines. I bought some mining machines on Amazon process normal. And then I realize I get the problem, okay, now where is the engineer to connect these machines? Um, how, how, how it work really? So I find, uh, I find a person that was also doing mining in Angola and um, basically in terms of problem that uh, we are now on the hands of other person, no? Because I don't know the technology and I want to know um, if you know any school or any, um, uh, how do you start it? How do you really connect your machines to, okay, you are an engineer, but for advisors or the people that are not engineer, that we need, um, there is not, um, uh, companies that do this service, so we need to be always on the hands of someone who say to us, okay, let's put in, a, in my company all your machines and I will pay you a fee per month. Yes, yeah. Yeah. No, no, I, um, that's also I have done the, if you're mining, I think it's, it's my business, the simplest, because you buy, a, it's really a normal computer at the end, it's just that I added some uh, uh, some more uh, graphic cards, it's just plugging it, uh, and then you run a software, you run it, you run it, and everything is, should work. Then. Uh, actually, for me, it was kind of fun to build it. Yeah, it was kind of fun to build it. Uh, I understand that it might be a bit complicated, but YouTube would be the best place to start. Uh, there are many, many tutorials on how to, to mine. And you can do it uh, from here, even if you are far away from the machines. Uh, yeah, I mean, no, you need to you need to plug it at one point to say that, and then yeah, of course now it's running at my house and I'm not there. Yeah. So it's just a I just want to comment. You want to be really careful about letting somebody else yes. uh, plug in your machines because they can just, you know, steal the money that you're mining. And uh, so you want to be really careful with that. YouTube is probably a great place to start. And yeah, it's not easy. Like I had a machine running, uh, like one ASIC running at uh, at my place as well. And it was not easy setting it up. I mean, it took me a couple of days to figure out how to do it. And I am technologically inclined. Uh, no, it's a specialized field, and uh, mining Bitcoin, you're not going to get these kinds of returns. It's mining other currencies, including Ethereum, they're going to get somebody else to buy it. Uh, but I really wanted to comment on the electricity part. Uh, look, it's really up to the free market to decide what's, what's the best use of electricity. Printing $100 trillion doesn't really use any energy, but uh, what happens after it's printed, and how you know, like how many wars is that money going to start, and how much energy is that going to take up? Uh, that's the bigger, that's the much bigger concern. As for use of energy, I mean, we all flew here. Uh, some of us live here. Like, if the government doesn't want people to use energy, then we can start walking everywhere and swimming across the Atlantic Ocean. Like, there's, uh, no, like, like, I really don't understand. Like, everyone wants to use the cleanest energy possible. No one wants to pollute the environment. And uh, using that energy for something like Bitcoin actually helps the world without the access waste of that energy. And uh, proof of stake, what Vitaly is doing, proof of work was invented because proof of stake has existed for thousands of years. I'm sorry, but the world of I own the most money, so I get to earn the most money and I get to make the most rules, that's how we got here, and that's how it's always been. Proof of work is the solution to that, not the other way around. I mean, uh, Vitalik is just going back to what it was before Bitcoin existed, uh, because he knows he can't compete in Bitcoin. All right, I'll leave it Thank there. Thank you very much. Um, is it, uh, we, we have one last question. The gentleman here, right next to you. Please go ahead. Yeah, I just wanted to find out what you think the future of mining will be, uh, because I think I understand a lot of there's a lot of corporate companies now going into the mining business with um, investors and setting up big and huge rigs. Do you think there'll still be space for individual miners with small rigs at home? Yeah, no, totally. I mean, yeah, I'm on a really, really small scale at what I'm doing there. Uh, but on the same, uh, I mean, you see a lot of people with warehouses and we try to, to mine so much, but then they probably have all the cost because then you need to pay people to do it. In my case, I don't give me a salary, I, mean, I, just, I just get the coin, so I keep it simple. And I think everyone 
can do at home, and it's a good idea because you participate in securing uh, the, the network, uh, you get some fees in return, so it's nice. And uh, also the coin that you, you get, you know, you don't need to go on an exchange, buy them, give your ID, you don't need all of this, you just, they just arrive to your own wallet. Uh, so it's really pure money, uh, no problem of KYC, no problem of passport, you get the, the first coins when they are created, so that's, that's very nice in the, in the crypto space. Thank you very much, Pierre. Well, thank you. All right.